This is a broker moment. Is Dean here? <laughs> Does anyone want to say something about this? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. We'll wait. We'll wait till Dean's back. Till Eric's back. All right, Hunter. Well, I'm... Awesome. Okay. Yeah, we got a uh, really uh, special speaker here today. Uh, Steve Black's going to be talking to us about simple social media hacks and a shifting market. So uh, we're going to turn the time over to Steve. I'm going to hurry and make it sure that we have everything running on Zoom and then I'll pass these out. Awesome. And then if Zero, one, one, four, one. That's four oh seven, seven nine zero, one one four one. And write down my social media handle. That's going to be our first lesson of the day. Write down at Steve Flag Speaker. I'm here to talk to you about branding. I'm here to talk to you about social media. I'm here to talk to you about sales. Bottom line, I'm here to talk to you about how to make more money. Who would like to make more money than the right kids? Can I see how right in the Well, for those of you that didn't raise your hands, I will tell you, I've, lived, I've had a lot of money and I've been broke. Having money makes it easier. You're able to help more people. And today, uh, I'm one of the top uh, five real estate coaches in the world. I'm a household name in Florida, I'm a household name in Texas, Colorado. It's my first time in Salt Lake City doing business in, in the last 30 years. And I'm, I'm, I'm just blown away by the beauty of here and, and the people I've met, I really love it. It's the polar opposite to Florida. And I specialize, like I said, in helping agents and affiliates take their game to a new level and make more money. So I still need to be made a co-host. I'm not able to share my screen. On that mic there too. All right, we got all two things at once. Yeah. All right, go ahead and get that. Uh, I saw the green light. So everybody go to the gray box there and write down a 12 month goal. Your new year starts today. How much gross commissions would you like to earn in the next year? Perfect. 200,000, 300,000, 500,000. What's your goal? I encourage you to set high goals. Rather re have you reach for the, the, the moon and grab, reach for the stars and grab the moon and reach for the moon and grab a rock. Um, write down a five-year goal, if you would. Over the next five years, cumulatively, how much money do you want to make? I'm going to talk to you about how to develop systems, leverage Kay Keller Williams tools to get more referrals and get more VBAC business. So make a million dollars over the next five years. And write down two... Uh, other goals, 90 day goals, write down how many listings are you gonna take in the next three months? Got some other screen up there that's not supposed to be there. How many listings are you gonna take in the next 90 days? And write down another goal, how much you're gonna have in the contract over the next 90 days? So if you sold two $400,000 properties a month, that'd be 2.4 million. Get real clear about what you're trying to achieve. When you have goals, you're motivated. When you don't have goals, you're not motivated. Most agents don't have goals. That's why most agents aren't successful. Right? If you go to goals, you can have a set goal. Go to uh, Ignite, you can have a set goals. You can start today. So everybody write down these five things. Write down personal branding, number one. Write down number two, social media. We're going to talk about the right ways, right places to play. Write down number three, video marketing. Write down number four, write down quality content on a consistent basis. We're going to talk about how to get consistency in your branding and your, bill and your, and your business. And number five, put down sales and communication skills. Ultimately, the reason you do any kind of marketing, whether it's direct mail, whether it's um, social media campaigns, is so that you can get more mixing appointments and get more attacks with buyers. Does that make sense? And there's a whole lot of agents I've already met in the last week I've been here in Salt Lake that don't know how to sell because they never had to sell. Real estate sold itself over the last eight years. It's different now. I'm going to give you some nuggets today. 
So if you're not taking notes, take some notes. You can get some really good stuff. You can pay $800 a day to be at my events, to pay $5,000 a week to be here, and they, they have me come by here. Yeah. So with all that being said, am I looking at the camera? You're good. You're good. Okay. Keep doing your thing. Yeah. All right. So write these five things down if you haven't already. Personal branding, social media, video marketing, quality content on a consistent basis. I'm going to take you inside some of the workbooks from our social media and business success series. We have a group coaching program. My students get together the second Monday of the month. We're a two to four. We did it yesterday. We had an incredible session all about what you can do with chat GPT, what you need to do with your business and your brand. People walk away from there that sat in and saying, I'm going to get an extra five hours a week back. I'm going to touch on that today. I can't teach you all this in 45 minutes. So the next step, if you like what I'm talking about is join our program. And it's normally like about five, five grand. Um, I'm able to take eight of you in the program for 90% off. I'll tell you about that. But let me take you inside of one of the first modules I'll have you do, which is called uh, how to build an unforgettable brand. And at the core of this, you need to find your niche. So write down next to number one, personal branding, write down, find your niche. And your niche might be that, you know, you know, or a luxury real estate agent, you specialize in relocation, or you can specialize in custom builds and new homes, representing buyers. It can be all, you get a content box for all three of those. But if you're, if you're generic like everybody else, you say, I'm honest, I'm dependable, I'm reliable, you won't get results in the marketing. You know that, right? So quit doing it. When I get back home to Florida, there'll be 50 postcards in a trash can. My name has been instructed, toss that stuff, toss that junk. I go, keep this, guys. He goes, why do I keep this? He's the residential real estate investment specialist. He's turned me on to six or seven killer deals that I acquired from him. He talked to me about renovation loans. He shares a list of contractors with me. I follow him. When I get home, I'll have his boosters. I'll go sit by the pool. I'll watch his videos on Instagram and YouTube. I love this guy. He's become my friend. He's a niche marketer and he found his niche. Does that make sense to everybody? So step zero is, is get, get real clear about this. You're going to go through this class. I don't know if we shut down the screen on this or the lights a little bit, but um, if you guys can see this, she markets to seniors. This is her Facebook business page cover. Write down number two, Facebook business page. Next to, so, next, to, next to social media, put Facebook business page, Instagram, Facebook personal. Those would be my top three plays for 2023. What about TikTok? If you're selling to 19 year olds, go for it. I was just with a group of young agents down the street. As soon as I mentioned the F word, Facebook, the hands popped up. Coach G, Facebook's not cool. I said, why? They said, it's for old people. I said, you're right. I go, guess who owns most of the real estate around here? <laughs> there it is. Where should you play? You should play where your prospects are. You want listings? You go to Facebook. Your buyer in Salt Lake is about 35 years of age. They're probably not on Facebook much. They're on Instagram. So if I can get you decent at Instagram, get you decent at Facebook, you're going to be a lot better than that old school agent that works across the street. Does that make sense? All right. So uh, let's, go, let's go a little deeper on this. Uh, branding. She's putting out content seniors care about. Whether it's Medicare deadline, she interviews the uh, local assisted living facility. Did that as a Facebook Live on her business page. People show up here. Is there a connect or a disconnect? It's a connect. Here's a Keller Williams agent out of o Ohio. She did our program. She also did a coaching call. And the coaching call, she's like, I'm really don't know where I should go with my marketing. I go, well, you should be luxury. That's your passion. She goes, but I want to sell to everybody. I go, you still sell to everybody, but when people look you up for a million dollar plus listing, you're going to get it. And that's exactly what happened. It all started with me giving her a list of pictures. So write this down, it's the personal branding. Put down um, a, a 60. In the next 60 days, I want you to get together 30 to 50 lifestyle success pictures. And if you like this list, just send me a text and say, Picks, I'll send you the list. You have it on your phone. I'll send you a bonus list with 10 extra ones with captions. 
So now you're going to go out there, post a couple of these a week on the various networks, and you're going to get a lot of engagement and remind people you're in real estate. Does that make sense? This is not a, I, I'm not good at tech stuff, Steve. It's I got to understand how to market myself, Steve. Right? It doesn't, it's not something that happens here, it happens here. And now your social media ends up looking more like this than like a messy closet. I was up in Logan. I was about as far north as I could go without going into Idaho. It was very rural where I was. And one agent looked at this. She goes, Steve, I don't like to dress like that. I said, you're missing the point. I said, how do you like to dress? She goes, I'm a country girl. I go, what do you wear? She goes, like boots, jeans. I sell a lot of land. I said, get on your tractor with your computer and let's have some fun with this, right? Let's get on your horse with your phone. What are the pictures that are representative of what you do? What are the landmarks in Utah that people know? If you're a city guy and you live, you know, sugar and you're down in Sugar House, are you interviewing the local business owners about what, why they're special so that they love you and they send you three to five referrals a year? If you're not doing these strategies, you're working too hard. Okay. So you got to find your niche. You got to put out content that your niche cares about. And you're smart enough to know if I start showing you examples, on what your chef might want to look like, you're like, I can do that. But I looked, I looked a lot of you up, and the first thing I saw on your Facebook business page is I wasn't seeing, you know, this. This is a brand new agent out of Dallas. Does she look like a brand new agent? Because we gave her a template. She was able to go into Canva in 10 minutes, put her picture, drag four pictures, change the phone numbers resize it for LinkedIn so that if, if the wife is looking her up on Facebook, the husband's a Delta guy, says, honey, she looks terrific. Go ahead and list the house with her. He's going to be successful. I looked you guys up. I saw pictures of a kitchen, pictures of a yard, pictures of a Keller Williams. Some of it was missized. When I came over to LinkedIn, it was really bad. It was blank. And you're not taking advantage of the things that you could take advantage of to give yourself the edge. And you might not even know it. You, they were, you were referred to them, but they looked you up and it didn't look good. You never got the phone call. Does that make sense, everybody? Shake your heads. You know, you have a chance to make, you know, two to 500,000 a year in real estate. And if you only made 80, something's wrong. You're, you're, it's costing you somewhere between 120 and 300, $400,000 a year not to be great at this stuff. So step, step zero to social media success I talk about this in overall social media strategies, make your profiles look great, add connections, come up with content. We don't have time to go into all that today. So I just wanna take you to page two. If you're online and you don't have this workbook, just draw a line down the middle of a paper and kind of divide Facebook personal and Facebook business. On the left side where it says Facebook personal, write this down, connect with everybody. You can have 5,000 friends on Facebook and I want you to max that out. Now, if you had 5,000 pieces of paper around the table, it'd be very inefficient. You'd have to reset up a folder system. So there's a hidden feature on Facebook personal where you put your friends into lists. I, and, and I teach you six lists to set up, you know, a client list, a prospect list, a list of agents that are local, a list of agents that are out of the area. Local, why do you want to be connected to other local agents? A, profit share. B, you will never have a listing expire. Because you can get the word out quickly. You can impress the sellers by making a post and having 40 agents show up. Now you get an extension and instead of them canceling your contract, which is happening to people now. So anyways, Facebook personal, right down. It's all about relationships. Right side, Facebook business page. Here's your goal. But in the next two months, I will have a great looking page at least 10 reviews, and at least, maybe it's me, here, I'll, I'll mute me. If you mute you, then we can't hear you on Zoom. Hello, hello. You can't mute you, we can't hear uh, you on Zoom. It's a very sophisticated system. All right. Can you hear me now out there? Yes. Thank Let me you. Try this. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. All right. All right. 
got to be quick on your feet. All right. Anyways, um, the right side, you got to make your profiles look great. You want to grow your audience. Now you impress people. You're going up against a EXP agent that has 90 followers and you got a thousand followers. They say, well, they'll do it for 5%. You're like, look what you get with me. You know, you get me, but you get all these people I'm connected to. What's that mean to me? Your house might sell for 580 instead of 550. It's a selling proposition. And then we look at the overall goal of not only selling them a house now, but selling them a house in five years, 10 years, 15 years, you're going to be connected to people and get the word out. Stay top of mind in a non-intrusive way. Does that make sense? Um, let's move on to Instagram. Go to the third page. Instagram, for those of you online, write down number one, have one profile set up as a creator account. What that means, if you have an account and it's a personal account, you're going to switch to business and then it's going to say professional or creator. You want to go with creator. That's the best way. Number two, write down a killer bio that tells me who you are, what you do, where you do it at. So in your bio, what I would do, I, I, I follow a couple of accounts that we recommend that we've set up. Like here's a Keller Williams agent, the whole process, right? First off, Facebook personal links to her business page. Some of you are linking to Keller Williams in Austin, Texas. You know that, right? So you're going to edit your employment, your position. Is going to become real Utah Realtor at Keller Williams or um, at your business page. Now people send you a message at 9 a.m. on Saturday, not the corporate page. Your page is going to look terrific. So when people show up, box is checked. You're going to set up your Instagram with a bio that has your phone number, has your email address, and how to search for homes. So you're going to want something good. What are those little circles called? Highlighted stories. I was just at a meeting. A lady said, I'm not doing your story thing, Steve. I like what you're doing, but I'm not going to do the stories. I said, why? She goes, they only last for 24 hours. How much action can I get in 24 hours? I go, you'd be surprised. I go, do you want your listing to be seen by 500 people or 200? She goes, 500. I go, then what you're going to do is you're going to put your list, new listing out there as a post, you're also going to press a little airplane, share it to a story, and then you're going to highlight it under your highlighted story called listings. And then when I teach you the strategies to get both sides of the deal, you're going to move it to the sold category. And then somebody says to you, why should I go with you versus the other three agents I know? You say, just go to my Instagram and click on sold, and you'll see all the properties I've represented. Does that make sense, everybody? We also can do this through hashtags. Who has branded hashtags that they use where you're the only human on the planet that uses those hashtags? Okay, come on, guys. This is really easy. What's your first and last name, sir? Write this down, Rob. It's the pound sign. There's no spaces in between. It's going to be a capitalize the R, capitalize the S. It's going to be Rob Sloat sells UT. Or you could go with Rob Sloat Realtor. Less is more here. Pick one, stick with it. Go back to all the social posts that you've been trying to do over the five years before you met Coach Steve and just add that to any business-related post. Now people click on it. They can see all your posts on one page. They can follow that for the people that you really know. Write this down, Rob. Sold by Rob Sloat. That's going to be used exclusively for the post where he represented the buyer or the seller. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay. Why haven't you been doing this? Because you haven't met me. All right. So Instagram. You want a killer bio. And then you've got to do your highlighted story. So where are you going to get those little circles that say sold, listed? about me. I'm going to give them to you. Anybody that signs up for my program, if you're one of the first six people, you're going to get the little um, circles. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's not me. No emojis. <laughs> All right. 
So with that being said, um, let me take you in the members area and just show you where you get you grab those. So um, anybody that moves forward in our program, uh, you'll have a portal that you can access 24 seven. And there's a ton of stuff in here, you know, sales training, copy and list, paste list of hashtags, et cetera. Here's where you get your templates. And the ones you're looking for in this scenario, that's where you get your Facebook covers. These make your posts look great, like your monthly market updates. This is, this is where you get your uh, highlighted story covers and they're already in Keller Williams Red for you. So tonight you'll have that set up. Your job, start populating them. All right, now what do you else do you wanna do on Instagram after you got your stuff looking great? You wanna learn how to leverage reels. Who's, who's done some reels before? Could I see a raise of hands? Who's never done a reel? Could I see a raise of hands? Who's not gonna answer any of my questions? It's either yes or no, people. All right, so reels, there's, there's, there's three parts to it. First thing is you gotta figure out how, what buttons to press. So write this down. I have a module in my course called Deep Dive Into Reels. I interviewed a Lehigh agent who got, gets 100,000 views on her post, okay? But the first 22 minutes is done by Coach Jerry and it teaches you the buttons to press. So you, on your computer, you're watching the module, you pause it, you have your Instagram open, you find the buttons. This is the same thing you guys have been trying to get those teenagers in your life to do for five years. And they go, oh, it's easy, just that, right? You need this. Second thing, you got to know what to talk about. That's what we're going to address right now. So I'm going to take you to our social media calendar that we give the students. Who's got a digital social media calendar set up? Okay. So you need to set one up so you don't miss opportunities, whether it's red day, prepping up for it, promoting it on social. Okay. But on the calendar, I know it's hard to see, you know, these are some examples of where you might put your lifestyle pictures, you know, here's some examples of, you know, they could be really simple. You know, it's not this picture, it's this picture, putting a sold sign on a house in front of the Keller Williams with the mountains in the background. Careful with this one, sir. Getting up on a step stool, putting a light into a chandelier. Let that should tell the story of everything you do besides just put a sign in the yard to get them top dollar. But you know, this one post here, sprinkled out on her business page, LinkedIn, Instagram, it got more engagement than like 30 of the other posts that she had did because she's in it. It was real, it was transparent. So you're gonna get your pictures together and then you're gonna start doing reels. So you're gonna come over here and I'm gonna give you some topics. Like, like these topics all work really well. This list is always changing. What's 250 buy in Utah? What's 500 buy in Utah? And what's a million buy in Utah? Would that be three good price points, three good topics? Change it. My, my Keller Williams agents in Austin changed it to 500, a million, and two and a half. But now they, they have evergreen content that they could post now. They could post it in 2025. They could post it in 2030. It's good. You can bring that back to life as much as you want. Who wants some listings? Could I see a raise of hands? What's your name there? Sherry, I'm gonna give you an easy one. No teleprompter necessary. How long have you been selling real estate? 24 years. I could only imagine how many times a seller has said, hey, should I paint the house? So she knows the answer, but right now she's been answering that question one-to-one. -one. Now she's gonna go one to 10,000 and let it generate leads. So Sherry, there's no, with a, with a reel, the less is more. It could be 90 seconds. I don't want anybody doing 90 second reels. I want you doing 15 second to 50 second reels. Our goal is that they watch it to the end. What happens when they watch it to the end? Algorithm says people like it. If they come back and they watch it a second time, they like it even more, they take a screenshot. Hey, she used a trending sound. We're gonna show it to more people. All this stuff, it has a thumbnail, a reason for me to click. So Sherry, there's no, I'm Sherry, I'm with Keller Williams, I'm in Orem. That young kid blowing a bubble right there, he will scroll right past that. <laughs> you gotta jump, right? You gotta jump right into it. Hey, thinking of selling your house? One of the questions on your mind is should you paint? Answer depends on the color, condition, here's my number, DM or text me, I'll give you my take. 
More importantly, and if you paint, are the colors you choose. There's three trending colors buyers will pay a premium for. Send me a message, I'll get you those paint colors. Every time you post that, Sherry, you get three to 20 people asking you for paint colors. And if they're in Nevada or they're in Washington State, can we help them? I've got a team member up that way. I'll ha be happy to have them swing by and take a look at the house. Everybody say referrals. All right, let's do it again. Anybody focused on the investment niche? This is for you, sir. What's your name? You're gonna say, hey, what's a 1031 exchange? It's how rich people get richer. They're able to ride one trend, move to another. You're gonna do the pointy thing. You're gonna just go like this. We're not worried about how do we put the words up. There's a, there's a, there's a 20 something in the room. If you give them 10 bucks, they'll do it for you. They might live at your house for free. And he's going to do that. He's going to say, every situation's different. DM or text me. We'll have a confidential conversation. Trent, when the fish hit this hook, they're a big fish. Hey, we inherited these three properties in the city from granddaddy. We're sick of managing them. We want to buy a place in Park City. Can we use a 1031? You got four deals every time you talk to somebody because you put the right bait in the water. And then who wants some buyers? Anybody working with first-time buyers? It's great market in, in Salt Lake because all the people relocating here, the people have the good tech jobs and stuff. So they might have a question. Once I find a house, how long does it take for me to move into it? So you're going to make a video. In fact, everybody write this down. I want everybody in this room to do five talking reels a month and five non-talking reels a month. And my, and my students who sell four to 12 homes a month have time to do it. And the reason they sell four to 12 homes a month is why? Because they do it. So I'm going to take you to a, a, a gal here that crossed my newsfeed about a year ago. She helped me teach the Reels class. She's right in Lehigh. And she, I really like the way she does them because they're classy, they're nice. What you're noticing here, she's tripled down on her brand, right? She, her picture's in all of these, most of them. Maybe an exception. Here's an, here's an example of a non-talking one that might appeal to first-time buyers. Got it? Brent, that's the one the 15-year-old can make for you. Hey, these are the topics. Copy this. Make me five a month. How much do I owe you? I don't want you messing with this one. The one I want you to do are the talking ones. So maybe you come to the list. Maybe, there you go. Maybe we come to the list and we, we find one like this. How long does a home buying process take? Let's take a look at what that might look like. Got it? Got it? I saw there was a, a, a lender walking around. Is he still in the room? Let me show you what one of my students down in Vegas did. He got with his favorite lender. He did this one. Total home run. Total home run. So you get with your famous, or your favorite lender. You interview them on Facebook Live once a quarter. You also bring them into your marketing on your reels. Let me see if I can pull this up. It's running a little slow. And then we'll wrap this up. Are you guys getting some good ideas? Trying. You're not as excited as the last group I came from. I heard good things about you here. We'll fix that in a few minutes. That's the lender. Who thinks it looks good? Come on, everybody get your hands up. I don't even show that to most people because it looks so good. Because I don't think you're going to leave this class and go do that tomorrow. He's been with me for about a year and a half. 
I interviewed him in a module called Game Plan 2023 because everybody want to know what app do you use to get the captions? How do you pop the pictures up? And we, we talked about it and I lay it out. And then he, shared, then he dropped the bomb. He goes, Steve, that's how I started. I started with an app called Splice and an app called CapCut. Now I've become real successful, so I hired a, a videographer on retainer. I said, ooh, that sounds expensive. He goes, it's not much. It's about 1000 a month. And then the, the, everybody blew up the chat. Oh, I don't, that's a lot of money for me. He, he said, hey, everything's about ROI. What's ROI? Return on investment. He goes, I pick up one $700,000 client. It pays for this for the year. But then he goes, Steve, I don't pay the 1000 a month. I go, what's it look like? He goes, I do three of it. The videographer meets me. We film for 30 minutes. They do everything, the captions, the pictures. They even post for me. I go, for 60 bucks a video? I go, now it makes sense. He goes, Steve, I don't pay for it. I organize the party. I get my lender to chip in. I get my stager to chip in. I get my roofer to chip in. I get that, the title rep to chip in. And now he's into it for no money, and he's just organizing the party. I just took all of you from I can't afford to do it to who's, who am I going to invite to my party? Who's in it to win it? Can I see a raise of hands? Come on, raise your hands if you're in it to win it. Or are you just here for the free pizza? So if you're in it to win it, you're going to apply this. Some of you are going to walk out of here today and be like, wow, that guy was good. And we waste our time. Some of you are going to go into a new tax bracket. But none of it matters if you don't have the right attitude. Go to the front page. Grade yourself on a scale of two to nine. Nobody's the one that showed up. The ones, all those agents that were supposed to be here that didn't make it. I'll, I'll pray for them. I can't help them. Two, you, you, you've you never done a reel, but you learned a couple things today. Five means you're doing it, but you're not getting the results you want. Nine means you could be teaching the class because you're selling four to 12 homes a month off of social media. And number five, put down under sales skills, put these four words down. The next step is. If you've come into real estate in the last eight years, you haven't had to sell. Now you have to sell. Two years ago, you could show a house and say, what do you think? And you sell the house. Doesn't work anymore. When you show a house, ask them, what did you like most about the property? They say, I love the location. I like the fact that I can see the mountain so clearly. So what else do you like? They say, I love the open kitchen. You say, it sounds like we're on the right track. One of the better houses we've seen. They go, it's probably the best. Light does not get any greener, people. You say the next step is, do you want to write a full price offer? Maybe come in a little above asking, make sure we get it in a friendly demeanor. They look at you and say, I like it, but I think it's overpriced. Anybody heard any objections like that lately? You, here's how you deal with objections. Write down one, two, three. One, you empathize with it. Women do this naturally. Men, we need to work on it. Two, you question it, even if you know the answer. Guys, quit trying to be so smart. When you're with your lady, she doesn't want you to answer it. She doesn't want to get cut off. She wants you to listen. Ladies, true or true? I do male training Saturdays at 10 a.m. I have them right on the board a thousand times. If it makes you happy, honey, it makes me happy. I was wrong. You're right. Won't happen again. All right. Guys, don't get scared. All right. So you empathize, you question it. And then number three, write down S-H-U-T-U-P. S-H-U-T-U-P. Shut up. <laughs> and that's hard for some people. So you're showing me a property. I, you say, next step is you want to write a full price offer, maybe come in a little above asking, make sure we get it. I'm like, I really love it, but I think it's overpriced. You say... Appreciate you being up front. How much too much do you feel it is? I say, I don't know, 25,000 over. Lots we could do here. Main thing, keep the momentum going and maintain trust. So write this phrase down. If I'm understanding you correctly, if I'm understanding you correctly, you really like the house. And if it was 25,000 less, you consider it. I go, I'd probably buy it. You say the next step is let's write an offer you're comfortable with. You want to come in at 650 or maybe we come in at 640, work our way up. I say, I'm thinking more like six and a quarter. Do not argue. Do not sell. You say, if they accepted it, would you want your closing on the 1st or the 15th? 
she's 24 years in the business and she's like, he's leading you in the right direction. I used to have to do that in 2010, 11 and 12. So I just gave you a crash course in sales. I got 10 hours of sales training in that portal. Most people are just listening to that, driving up and down uh, Highway 15, getting better at this. Because how much do you make if you almost sell a house? Almost a commission. And none of this matters if you don't have the right attitude. But look at your scores. When you get better at this, just get two points better at everything. Are you going to make more money or less money? All of you are going to sell an extra six to 24 homes a year because people are going to remember who you are you're going to get referrals. But none of this matters if you don't have the right attitude. The attitude of it's Tuesday. The attitude of I'm not good at this stuff. So go to the fourth page. Those of you that have been through Miracle Morning, this will look familiar. I wrote this the year the kid was born. Hal Elrod. Write down number one, when you wake up in the morning, write down positive affirmation. I want you to be happy to be alive. I want you to be happy to be a Utonian. I want you to be happy that it's springtime in Utah. I want you to be excited to go make money. Everybody stand up if you would, stand up. So when I'm not around tomorrow, you're gonna wake up a little excited about life because we did this today. And if you're online, get up out of your seats. Everybody say with confidence and belief, say this year will be my best ever. This year will be my best awesome. ever. Awesome, say it. if it's meant to be, it's up to me. It's meant to be. It's up to me. Say, I am responsible. I am responsible. Say, social media is easy. Say, I'm amazingly consistent. Say, I'm a video queen. I'm a closing machine. All right, have a seat. All right. So start your day with something positive. Number two, drink more water. Oh boy, I used to start with Diet Coke. I weighed 60 pounds more than I do today. I lost 60 pounds literally between number two and number three. Every day, start with a liter of water and then number three, write down exercise for 15 to 30 minutes. And you had the best intentions. You bought the Zumba videos, you got a yoga mat, but you're not using it because you're checking your phone in the morning and 7 a.m. quickly will turn into 10 a.m. So no phone, out the door with your dog, walk your neighborhood, you might meet some neighbors. And if you live in a bad neighborhood, walk fast, but get on out there. Number four, feed your mind. Quit watching the news. I was interviewed on a podcast. What's one thing a realtor affiliate can do? I said, quit watching the news. And number five, start keeping that gratitude journal. You're grateful for God. You're grateful for your family. You're grateful for your health. And we'll build from there. 1%, write down, grow, get better every day. I cut my teeth teaching 80-year-olds in Florida on how to use social media. I got you covered. I tell them you're going to get a little bit better. And then at the end of the year, they're like other like 28-year-olds are like, wow, you're pretty good for an old dude. I'm Coach Steve's student. 444, write down four books. I want everybody to read four books this year. You start with Millionaire Agent. Then you read Gary's book on shift. He was a little early with it but it's exactly what's happening right now. You find a couple other good books to read. Second four, audio books and podcasts. Once again, you're listening to Gary's podcast. You're listening to some other ones, Tom Ferry, different stuff. Anything except the news. Because what's on the news? Bad stuff. You know as much about the body count in Allen as you need to know. It's not going to make you your next 25 grand. Change your focus. And the last four, learning programs. If I was a KW agent, I would do Bold, I'd do Ignite, I'd do Family Reunion, and i definitely do my program because I'm gonna show you how to use the social media and bring everything together. I've trained more Keller Williams agents on how to build a brand and, and leverage the tools than any human on the planet. And a lot of my students come to me and they're like, well, I just paid 23,000 to Chris Tomasho to teach me video. I'm like, that's module 13 and 14 of my course, and we're going to fix everything that she didn't teach you. She's like, I wish I found you before I found her. I go, well, you found me now. So I have a lot of students there with Tom Ferry. They're doing other programs. But my program, the way I have it priced today, it's icing on the cake. So you all need to do it. Um, 1%, uh, 3%, write down self-development budget. Remember we talked about ROI? Quit looking at education as expense. It's an investment. Sell one house, you usually get it back. You go to family reunion. 
best action is at the bar, even if you don't drink. You got your soda water, you got your lime, but you're meeting agents from California, you're meeting agents from Idaho, you're meeting agents from Washington, you're meeting agents from Montana. And guess what? Now they have a friend in Utah and who gets the referrals? Okay, paid for his whole family reunion times a thousand. All right, upper right hand corner, you need to do something now. Here's what you need to do. Number one, I want everybody in the next 14 days to set up a digital social media calendar. For those of you that move forward with me, I will save you 10 hours. I will give you ours. And all you have to do is take 30 minutes to customize it. Put the balloon festival in Park City on the calendar in October and start talking about it. So when people, rich people visit, they might say, can you show me some real estate? When the film festival's here, add it to the calendar. Number two, revamp your profiles in the next 30 days. Make them look good for the human eye, the algorithm, killer bios, all that stuff. Those of you that move forward, I'm gonna include the templates. So you, it'll take you 10 minutes if you're slow, six minutes if you're fast. And number three, I want everybody to record those 20, 90 second videos. So five a month, each month for the next four months. You're gonna combine that with the non-talking ones. And then I'm gonna give you some templates. So all you do is have these on your phone. I'll text these to you later today if you're moving forward in the program. There's seven of my favorites. And what you do with these, once they're on your phone, you just click on them and upload six or seven video clips. It sets it to music. And now you can showcase your new listings or properties, the new builds you're looking at, et cetera. Always get written permission. But you're gonna have stuff like this that will impress people. You see other agents doing it. It's time to go ahead and do it. Who got some good ideas today? Could I see a raise of hands? Who thinks if they did apply what I've already taught you, you'd sell at least one more house? Could I see a raise of hands? So we put together a special package for this office and I apologize in advance. I cannot take everybody that's here. We're gonna do maybe six or eight from uh, the people online. Five, we'll, go, we'll do five for online and I'll do 10 for the people in the room. And here's what it is. Everybody go to this page in your workbook. If you're online, you could go to successadvice.com. They just opened that up for you. And what we're going to get you is we're going to get you a live masterclass with me once a month. That means write this down. The second Monday of the month, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. We're going to be together for 90 minutes to two hours. That's where you ask questions, you learn. You print a workbook. That's where all the binder stuff comes from. You'll be keeping your own binder, right? Yesterday, I showed some cutting edge chat GPT stuff that you can utilize to get your time back. Like never write another MLS description. Who's using chat GPT? Three of you. If you're too busy, it's because you're not, you're going to battle with a pocket knife instead of a machine gun. I'm going to give you the machine gun. I'm gonna teach you how to go ahead and take everything in your business, your workflow, and simplify it. Some of you are gonna fire your virtual assistant because I'll teach you how to do this stuff. Um, you're gonna get the templates. You're gonna be in a private Facebook group. Write down next to Facebook group, write down Referral City. That's 2,700 of the top agents from around the country. Almost 1,000 of them are with Keller Williams. You know what you do? You get in the group. When you see the welcome post, you look to see who's a KW agent. You friend them up and you say, hey, send me your card. I'll add you to my referral network. They say, give me your card. I'll do the same. You got more people moving here than moving to Ohio. You're the one that's going to benefit from it. And then you're going to get my social media calendar for this year, next year, and the year after, along with all the templates and everything that comes with it. So you could see why a lot of people pay $5,000 for two years access. What I'm doing for the first 10 people online, the first five, uh, first five online, the first 10 in the room, 15 total, right? Look, you'll see it there. It says 599. That's not per year. That's the total investment. I did the math. It's $25 a month for the next two years. We don't do it that way because we give you everything up front instead of dripping it on you. But if you need installments, you just take the $600, you do 100 now, and we do $99.84 a month for the next five months, every 30 days. 
If, if that's too much for you, you do 75 a month for eight months. If that's too much for you, you do 60 a month for 10 months. If that's, that's too much for you, you have a garage sale. Because that's not a lot of money, people. And I guarantee each of you has a PlayStation at home, something that if you were really motivated, like you really wanted to make an extra million dollars in the next five years, you'd find a way to make it happen. Who, again, who got something out of today? Could I see a raise of hands? Who's thinking about being my next success story moving forward at the discount? Could I see a raise of hands? Awesome. The order forms on the last page, bring those up to me. When I get to 10, I will shut the offer off. Um, check the top box that gets you the program. There's also an option to add on a one-on-one -on -one strategy call. About half the students do that. That's where we get on a Zoom. I look at your Facebook, your Instagram, your LinkedIn. If you don't have a niche, I help you come up with it. It's $500 so far. Best program, you're getting a program that's normally $5,800 for, for $1,099. If you just want the training, it's $599. Either way is good with me. Um, but if you need installments, you drop to the second line. You divide it anywhere from two months to eight months. If you're between checks, I had a gal today. She goes, Steve, can you charge me May 15th? I said, what happened? She goes, I have my closing. I said, I'll get you activated today. Just make a note there. You want me to charge you May 15th. If you've got to think about it, talk it over with your spouse. You have three days to cancel this. So get registered, get the login. If it doesn't work out, just send me a text by Friday. I'm going to email everybody. I'm going to text you from my private phone. You saved me under Coach Steve, part of the whole deal. Anytime you have a question, hey, I'm doing my logo. What's your opinion? I go, I like this, but let's ask the group. Where do I find the module and how do we do a virtual open house? I become your compass. So fill those out. I enjoy being with you. If you're online and you need installments, they don't do it on, uh, on the order form. You need to text me at 407-790-1141. Clapper, I keep talking. Come on. This is all delivered via Zoom into your living room. Um, the second Monday of the month, 2 p.m. to 4. If you miss it, it's recorded and put into your portal. So you guys will have access to the class we did yesterday with the 31 page workbook. It's called the startup module and how to get the most out of artificial intelligence. Yeah, you print, the, uh, there'll be a PDF, you print it. Each of the workbooks are anywhere from eight pages to 31 pages. I teach you how to do that. But like the, the Instagram template, that's going to be a situation where the music's there. You just upload six pictures or six video clips and you have the, the video that I showed you. All right. I'm going to open up two more spots. We're going to take a total of 12 out of this group. Well, the little link, the link tree in your bio link tree in your in your instagram bio is a great strategy let me show you what that might look like so instagram only gives you one hyperlink in the in the whole profile so what some students do is stuff like this so what he's asking about is he says what about doing a link tree right here and then you have a uh, Download my buyer guide, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, that kind of stuff. Now, here's what I want to do. I want you guys to do. Those of you that are signing up, exchange numbers. Who's going to lead an accountability group for this office? Okay. Robin, I'm going to email you all the names. You can choose whether that's in person or virtual. I recommend in person, maybe the last week of the month, since I do my classes the second week of the month, you organize people, hey, we're doing an accountability class. This month, we're talking about branding pictures. They start sharing, I use this photographer. This is the one I took. You inspire each other. You get stuck. You can hand your phone to this guy. He'll show you what a link tree is, all that good stuff. Enjoy being with you. I'll be here for a few minutes. Take care. Thank you.